I just feel empowered. I feel like I'm on the highest horse anyone could ever sit on. I feel like I'm the only one here. It's just me and my money. It's my job to bring Vasanth back down to earth and run him through the family's budget. But now it's the moment where things are going to get a bit serious because I think you must know that that's so much money, there must be a lot of things that your family has to buy and has to pay for, right? So I'm going to show you what some of them are. So I run Vasanth through the day-to-day -day costs that he'll be responsible for. These include food, clothing and entertainment. Now, this is, if you like, sort of like your little playground. You can choose however you want to use it. I'm going to give you some time to have a think about this and to come up with your own plan. Yeah. All right, Vasanth, good luck. And I'll be nearby, just call out if you need some help. Yeah. All right, cheers. Figuring out the family's budget can be a challenge. The home maintenance, probably 75. But when your dad's a banker, the pressure's really on. I just want to see the figures and see what his allocations are, uh, w w what he's going to spend on and what he's not going to spend on. That's what I love to see. Food and groceries and alcohol, 135. This will let us know whether he values what we value and whether he values the idea that I would like a massage or not, whether he thinks I'm being a spendthrift there or not. Hairdressing, 100. Uh, yeah, that's reasonable. I just got to be as nice as I can to Vasan, sugar him up so, you know, I get that little bit of extra money. That's a good question. Really at, at the mercy of Vasan, hoping that he um, does the best for the family. So there you go.